Isn't that what this is? It's a brightly colored dried frog. It has an interesting pattern of markings on its back. Hmm. What is this? Read the note. Tungsten W. Do you write roof sample from laboratory? Alright. This, so I'm gonna leave that there. Put my gun back. And let's continue scoping things out. Now, a little pentagram shape here. Push a red button. Nothing appeared to happen. Oh, the hell are those? Those must be like those, ah, so my god things. Hmm. Those are the crocodile things. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, ah. oh, ah, shit. Damn it. Uh, well, I'm back here. I never did investigate this machine. Green jello. Machine's operation is completely silent. Scan complete. No quarks detected. Radioactivity within parameters of EPA safety recommendations. And we'll remove that. Uh huh. So that has got to be part. Oh, I didn't even notice that there's stairs here. weird. What the hell are you? K4RL. You are a robot. Lab assistant robot. Lab. I assist in the purchasing of snow frogs. I also purchase tungsten alloy. Tungsten. Since it detect no tungsten alloy present. Okay. That's cool. What do I have on me? 
35 bucks, whatever. You look interesting. King of Snow Frogs. Supplicants wishing to pay homage may purchase snow frogs in his honor. Snow frogs subject to availability with proceeds to the upkeep, upkeep of the frog kingdom. Statue placed under order of whatever, whatever. Mm hmm. Dude, you seem to have a weed problem here. Should look into that. So, what is over here? Oh. This is just there. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Shields? Oh my goodness. Ah! I'm gonna die. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, and I'm back here? Alright, well. I guess this way is faster. Note to self, don't throw TNT. Uh, what might work on those little buggers? They have a shield. So the only thing I can think of would be that, but I've only got two shots. So, it can't be that. I doubt it's that. Oh. Okay. Just have to evade them for a little bit. Or I could just walk right into the damn things. Okay, I got him because his AI was work was acting up. Jesus. You bastard. Alright, got you. Uh. 
so they can't put up their shields when they don't have their boomerang. Okay. 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 All right. Oh. Dang it. All right, we're down to just you. Come on, dude, you could headshot him. Oh, come on. Finally! Oh, a device appeared. And this is... It's a Geiger counter. Let's take it. Uh, apparently... Off? On. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Detect alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. All right. I'm assuming it beeps. Okay. Uh huh. So I have to get through them. Somehow. Hmm. And I just try to run. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. That was bad. Okay. So I'm going to assume that that's what the tungsten is needed for. Possibly. All these dead bodies. So this leads me this way. Looks like I can buy snow frogs. Let's take. What can I do? Yeah, I know. Nice. Something obvious that I'm missing. Read. Q O O C O C O C D B zero C O C O C D. Okay.
I see a pattern, but I don't know what it means. Scan this frog. Hmm? Rock? Hmm. Blau? Outside parameters. Okay. I don't know what to do with these frogs. Hmm. Alright, you guys are useless to me, I think. But I want to grab one of you. See C three PO here. And tungsten. Purchase price has been programmed at thirty four bucks per sample. No. I don't care enough about your thirty five bucks per sample. I analyze tungsten. No quarks. Specimen may absorb quarks. at a loss. So each one of these has a different thing. That rat was up in the, uh, beam thing. Alright, I guess I didn't read this book. Uh, laser powered ion jets. Our latest line of tests have centered around three things. Radioactive charge, ion jets, snow frogs. We have perfected a laser powered ion jet that can produce a near limitless stream of energy in the form of nuclear fusion. We hope to use it to power entertainment devices that emit flash flashing lights and sound. Ion string could be directed towards certain phosphoric semiconductors. They would emit controlled shapes. Unfortunately, these just have turned out to, be, to only work in the proximity of this cave's natural radio radioactivity. Moreover, they have proven to be naturally unstable, sensitive, and ex in the extreme to the natural balance of radiation that runs through this cave. Our current research is into the properties of this natural radiation. Nuclear radiation is made up of radium split into three parts, or quarks rot, groom, and blau. Rock quarks appear red, and appear green, blau appear blue. So it's just red, green, blue. Okay. Each radion can be made up of any number of these quarks, up to three. For instance, a radion may have a measure 2R1G0B or 1R0G1B, and so on. 
corporal composition of radion determines its apparent color, but I presently lack this theory to predict this. Right. Cave we built our lab in has a natural radiation transported by veins of water, culminating in a natural hot spring. Excuse me. Bathing in this hot spring is very rejuvenating, though we are uncertain as to the long-term health effects of doing so. A type of snow frog has evolved to hibernate herein. There are several varieties, each tempered to acclimate certain radio to the exclusion of others. These frogs develop a radioactive charge and so affects their coloration. We have found that placing these frogs into the natural hot spring causes them to excrete their excess radions, which in turn disperses throughout the cave to affect its radioactive charge. Further, we have found that the cave can accumulate the radions from at most two frogs at one time. The cave seems to have a limited capacity of absorption. We have confirmed this by experiment. For instance, placing a frog of 2R0J0B and a frog of 1R1J1B will cause the cave's radioactive charge to be 3R1J1B. Simple arithmetic. Addition of the course produces predictable results. However, adding a third frog, for instance, 0R1J0B, will push the first frog's radions out of the cave, giving the cave a radioactive charge of 1R2J1B. So the second and third frogs sum together. Yep. Finally, we have created and installed a device to assist in experimentation, which will drain all excess radions from the cave system. This device may be activated by pushing the red button located next to the hot spring. So it's a reset button. Our invention of the ion jet works by filtering the cave's natural radiation through a crystal made of ruby, emerald, or topaz to produce rock, grown, or black one. Okay, these jets have been constructed in several stable configurations. The greatest challenge has been the greatest challenge has so far been to avoid quantum cancellation effects described in the previous section. For instance, a jet set to filter all but 2R2G and 1B will cease to produce an energy stream if the cave's radioactive charge is set to 1R1G2B. Or higher. So I guess it's just if it's if any of the numbers are above. Two plus one would be three. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be a minus sign, which wouldn't work out either. This represents a formidable technical challenge for the future. This one is these as energy producers as the natural radioactivity in most places on Earth is highly volatile. Our research, although not entirely fruitless, has, not, has yet not been able to produce an ion jet that will perform reliably in all circumstances. The natural radioactivity of this cave, together with the availability of phosphoric snow, oh, phosphoric snow frogs, go to the next line, has however enabled us to reliably experiment with the combinatorical aspects of radiation quark theory and produce predictable results. In our quest to produce the ultimate entertainment device, we may abandon this line of research and instead pursue technology based on luminescent conductive diodes as this seems a similar approach. Yep. 